A family doctor who lived in a small farming community in Indiana was at first puzzled, then frightened. He began observing strange symptoms in his patients. Starting out as innocent-looking rashes, they quickly became alarmingly large, painful lesions. Dr. Anderson took cultures and sent them off to a lab, which reported they were MRSA, staph infections that are resistant to antibiotics. He didn't live to tell the tale. Some believe he died of complications related to MRSA infection. Arousing terrifying headlines as superbug or flesh-eating bacteria, MRSA is killing more than 18,000 Americans a year, according to the CDC, more than AIDS. The doctor suspected pigs in nearby hog farms were carrying the resistant disease. He was right. MRSA has spread rapidly, first discovered in swine producing areas of the Netherlands, then Europe. This same strain of MRSA has now been found in the United States and Canada. A new study by Tara Smith, a University of Iowa epidemiologist, found that 49% of hogs tested and 45% of pig farmers she sampled carried MRSA. There's no doubt about it. Pork is bad for you. Besides MRSA, they carry trigonosis and dozens of other diseases that are downright bad for us humans. The CDC, the Mayo Clinic, and even TV evangelist Joel Osteen warn us not to eat pork products. I don't know about you, but I don't want to take a chance of putting that kind of junk in my body. More important than all these warnings, the Bible said it first. And the swine is unclean to you, and you shall not eat of their flesh or touch their dead carcass. God's laws always prevail, don't they? Do you want to protect yourself and your family from disease and the ill effects of eating pork? Then stop and follow what God asks us to do. Don't eat pork. For GN Magazine, I'm Dave Register.